welcome back. Um, today I'm going to be talking about some tips for keeping aphids out, under control in your garden. So this year we had a little bit of an epidemic and it was more from a lack of planning on my part than anything else. So I thought I'd share with you some tips that um, may help you um, keep aphid infestations under control in your garden. So the first thing we do is if we see aphids we, we basically leave a plant, um, we leave them to infest a plant. Um, we call it the sacrificial plant um, and this allows um, the good guys to come and take over and put things back into balance. Obviously if your garden is completely infested that's probably not going to work um, but I always leave sort of one plant um, to sort of handle things naturally. The other thing we do is we like to plant lots of flowers in between our veggies. Not only does it look good, um, it also serves a purpose. So what we're doing is creating food and shelter for beneficial insects that come and um, will eventually put the aphid infestation in control. So I understand that a lot of people um, may be reluctant to plant flowers in a veggie patch um, and I get it, like it, sometimes you just you want to grow more food than flowers. Um, so in this case, maybe instead look at um, letting plants go their full cycle. So allowing them to go to seed. So you are getting some flowers at some point, but it still actually serves a purpose. You get the seeds and some things you eat the seeds. Like a good, a really good one for us is coriander. We actually don't eat green, fresh coriander. We're one of the, <laughs> we're a family that thinks it tastes like soap, but we eat the seeds ground up as a spice. So we let it go to seed and the beneficial insects actually really, really love that. So some of the insects that actually will eat aphids are the ladybug larvae, lacewing larvae, um, you've got your parasitic wasps and also um, hoverfly larvae. In our garden, we mostly see ladybug larvae more so than any of the other beneficial insects. Another strategy which is sort of taking matters into your own hands is squashing the mothers. So if you look at a colony of aphids, um, you'll often see that one looks a little bit, a couple look a little bit different to the others. So look for the ones with the wings. These are actually the ones that lay the eggs and spread it around your garden. So if you can keep these guys under control, you can usually um, keep the infestation to one area of your garden. Another thing to look out for is ants. So ants aren't really bad for the garden. They're actually really good pollinators. However, usually if there's ants, there's other sap sucking insects such as scale and aphids. So if you're seeing a lot of ants around and you're not noticing what's going on, just check on the undersides of leaves and things like that. Ants will ferociously protect their, um, their insects that they're harvesting from. So what they're actually doing is they're farming them and they're har harvesting the excretion from the sap, sap, sap sucking insects, um, which is a honeydew to them. So it's a sweet thing that they, you know, take back you know they're farming it and they're they're eating it so they're going to protect their their crops basically just like we are um so keep an eye on them try and keep them away if you can um and the best way to do this is just with upping your moisture in your your pots or containers or garden beds um i know in some instances it's a little bit tricky but just keep an eye on them so one thing that we've done this year is we've actually bought in bugs. Um, we bought some lacewing uh, eggs um, and they've hatched and they're doing their working their magic on our aphid infestation. One thing I will say that it's probably not a um, basically buy them in and bam your aphids are gone. It is a holistic sort of strategy. Um, we bought them because we don't see lace wings and we know that they are really really good um, beneficial insects to have in your garden. Um, so I like to watch them. I think they're really cool. They're, they're actually like little corpse collect collectors and they put all of the aphids bodies on their back as they work through. Um, one thing if you do buy um, insects in is you do really do need to have the food for the adults and the protection. So more flowers again, so they don't disappear once they've, they've finished eating the things and then uh, pupate to become adults and move on. So make sure that you've got that food and also the protection that they need to stick around basically. One of the amazing things about plants is if they're healthy, they're pretty good. They, they kind of look after themselves. So if you're finding that you're getting a lot of bug infestations and the balance is really out, 
go back to the basics and check out your soil make sure that it's in tip-top condition compost 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 worm castings um, these things are gold for your garden make sure that you are adding these to your soil and replenishing after each crop I often see aphids appear when I've overplanted, and this is a twofold thing. One, it's giving them protection, but it's probably also that there's not enough nutrients and the plants aren't thriving as well as if they are plant planted adequately spaced. So if you're finding um, that you're getting them in overplanted areas, look at sacrificing some plants or even clearing out some leaves so to give more airflow and more lighting, take away that protection that the aphids are currently under. As a last resort I will use a eco oil so it's essentially an oil um, that will basically suffocate the insect. This is an absolute last resort because it will affect all of the good guys and take away all of that hard work but if you've got a really bad infestation it is a good way to go. So we use a DIY recipe um, and it's just using things that we find in the kitchen. Um, super simple to make and if you're a dirt lover you can access my recipe inside the portal. So I hope you find that helpful and that gets your aphid issue under control. I'll see you guys next time. Make sure you subscribe and like this video um, and I'll see you next time. Bye.